Hello, I am Joe Alexy, and welcome back to Morrowind. So we're here in Balamora, and I think for today what we're going to do is we're going to take it easy. We're going to do the Imperial Cult Quest where we need Cork Bulb, and we also need a little bit of Brandy. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take the Brandy, and we're going to try to find some Cork Bulb. Now, I remember him saying it was near the Arvin Plantation, I think. I'm not 100% sure where that's at. I think it's like up here on the coast. There's Dren. Yeah, here it is. The Arvel Plantation. So we're going to get some cork bulb, we're going to get some brandy, and we'll deliver it to them in a timely fashion. If we have any around, I don't believe we do. Like, I do recall us picking up quite a bit of it somewhere. It's Dagoth brandy. There we go, four Cyrodiilic brandy. All right, now we need cork bulb. So I... That was one cork bulb. Oh, we have... That's two cork bulbs. We have such a huge pile of ingredients. All right, that's all I'm seeing for the cork bulb. All right, so pretty much what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to a bar or two here in Balamora, and we're going to see if they will sell us any Cyrodiilic Brandy. We only need one more, and once we have that, that will complete that guy's quest, and then we just need the cork bulb to complete the other quest. Now, normally I will do uh, research and stuff before I begin uh, our daily videos. But today has been a disaster. Go ahead. And I am recording extremely late. Extremely late. Alright. I just want the one. And you cut me a deal? Oh, come on. That'll work. Alright, we got all five of the brandy. Now we just need three more cork ball brutes. What would be the easiest way to get there? Going from Vivek. Yeah. We're going to go to Vivek, and then we're going to jump across, and then that should put us right on track to the Arvel Plantation, where we can get some more cork bulb. Excellent. Yeah, our stats are starting to look good. We're actually getting a pretty powerful character now. I love it. This character has grown so much. It just seems like yesterday we was going probably about a foot an hour. How Where would you like ungodly to go? slow this dude was. But now he's pretty much decent. He goes at a pretty good clip. We can work with it. I don't know if that's a harp or some kind of other stringed instrument, but I love that sound. The plucking effect. Sounds beautiful. Ah, you can just get lost in the music of Morrowind. I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know who wrote the scores and stuff for the Elder Scrolls series, but they're good. They're very good, actually. I enjoy them. I don't really think they have a bad song that they play. They might, but I don't know. I don't know. That reminds me of, like, uh, terrible songs in video games. Like, it's not terrible. It just has, like, a sickening beat to it. Like, it's good, but it's bad. Uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, Beck's Badass's song. Oh my goodness. I love it, but I hate it. It's oh, just stupid, but it's good. <laughs> Alright, we should be... This looks like my cork bulb filled. 
One. Two. Three. All right, we got all the cork bob. We got all the brandy. I'm going to go ahead and say that if we use our... Om Civi, it's going to take us to Balamora, but I want to go to Vivek. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, well, this way will be quicker than actually trying to walk back the other way. So now we're going to go cash in these two quests. And I'm trying to remember exactly what all we need to do, which we're going into the weekend. And I don't usually record on the weekend, but I will be doing some more research. And I think we're going to hit it hard next week. We're going to try to knock out Why, well, quite a few you quests as quick as we can. Like, we're still tied out of like the Jim Stacy and stuff because of the Imperial Legion and so on and so forth. We'll get it done. Speak, traveler. Travel to Ebonheart. Perfect. You have my attention. Yes. What is this about? Yeah, it's just so calming recording in the afternoon because, like, the day's pretty much done. And it's just like, ah, oh, finally, this hectic day is coming to an end. I can finally sit down, unwind, and enjoy me a little bit of Morrowind. I love it. Do you want Absolutely something? love it. So with the uh, Jim Stacy mission, the ledger of Gingling Half Troll, it's in the evidence locker, so we won't be able to get that right now. Because if we steal it out of the evidence locker, it will immediately well, kick yet. us from the Imperial. What is it? And I don't want to be kicked out of there until we get pretty much finished with them. With pleasure. Please, go ahead. I'm all ears. Cool, they said that together, I think. I see you have brought me five units of cork ball brute. Here are cure common disease potions and restore health potion for you, and thank you very much. You will, of course, remember to check your advancements. Speak to me again when you are ready for another healer mission. All right. Have you bought me five, brought me five bottles of brand, cyrodelic brandy, or have you come to report your failure? Yes, I have the brandy. Very good, Joe Alexi. Congratulations. This is was no easy task, I'm sure. I'd like to acknowledge your faithful service with a few tokens of Zenithar's special blessing. Accept them with my thanks and with the thanks of the Imperial Cult. When you're ready for another Almoner mission, speak with me again. Eh, I guess we will jump right back in. Bring me five units of rat meat for cure poison potions. The best place to hunt rats is in the underworks of Vivix Cantons. Enter the underworks through trapdoors in the canal works, or enter through an exterior outflow drains underwater along the sides of the canton. If you don't mind a swim, and be careful, sometimes bad things and bad people hide in the underworks. So don't go poking into anything you can't handle. Alright, rat meat, we can do that. Cunius Pelius of the Caldera Mining Company is a member in good standing of the prominent citizens, citizen and unfortunately has not been forthcoming with donations to help us in our good works. Please speak to him and see if you can persuade him to donate 500 drinks to our Widows and Orphans Fund. You'll find him in Caldera at the Governor's Hall. When you've obtained the donation, deliver it to me. Perfect. Oh, I remember this. I think this is the guy that we tried to get the donations from, and he, like, he just kept blowing smoke. Well, friend, what brings you? Gaslighting us, just, yeah, sure, I'll get back with you, I'll get back with you. And he never did. And there was another dude that did that, too. It was for, uh... Oh, I want to say it was for the main story where we had to get, uh... the title of Hordador with all the great houses and like he's like oh think about it I'll get back with you and like he just gaslighted me the entire time and eventually I think we had to kill him 
I don't know. I don't really remember stuff, but that's okay. Speak, traveler. All right, so for starters, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head to Caldera because I think that will be our starting point. And, like, the rats is kind of, like, easy. We could do that just about anywhere. Or we could go back into that one girl's house if they're still there. They might have despawned. And, yes, I did get the, uh... I did get that, what's that called? The Dwimmer Co, Co here. Kind of like a battery. I left it in there because we were extremely overweight. But I did retrieve it, and it is in the house. But I say those rats that were up there are probably despawned by now. So Alright. Do I have any rat meat just laying about? No. No, we do not. Alright. So we're going to have to do a rat hunting. Oh, there we go. We're going to have to do a rat hunting video. I'm not even going to go in there and check because I'm pretty sure that that stuff's already been spawned. And I don't think they will spawn again because they were... Uh, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? They were quest, you have something to say, quest enemies. Questables. All right. Tidings and good wishes to you, friend. Stay out of trouble and you'll have nothing. May you find all that you Cool. I love how you don't even look at them, and as soon as you walk past them, they just start talking to you. Like they know you or something. Your cool. Alright. It's this dude, ain't it? Yes. Cunius. All right, I'm going to save because I remember this kind of is a little bit wonky. Yes, I recall speaking with someone about a donation to the Widow and Orphans Fund. I am very busy at the moment, but I would, I would be happy to discuss this matter at a later date. Now, if you'll excuse me, thank him for his attention. Thank me for what? Are you still here? Goodbye. I asked Quinius Pleius to donate 500 gold to the Imperial Cult's Widow and Orphans Fund. He said he was very busy at the moment, but would be happy to discuss the donation at a later date. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try something here. <clears throat> Instead of just like being a jerk like I was last time and just like pressuring him and whatnot, I think we're going to come back in a couple of days. That'll be at a later date. And we will refresh his memory. And if he do if he tries to gaslight us or blow smoke or anything, we will harass him then. I thought that was a piece of paper. I was like, ooh, a letter. Ah, friend. How does the day This is unexpected, ah. but not unwell. Three blessings. Alright. To Vivoc. Stay out of trouble and you'll have none from me. Trebonus. Oh, yeah, we could still go to uh, Edwana Elbert in Aldrun and do her Mage's Guild quest. I completely forgot. We still got, like, Mage's Guild to work with. Cannonball! Ah! And of course, the one thing that I dive down to thinking that it's one of the ones that will allow us to go in somewhere, it doesn't. Not in the least. Like, I know some of those little doorways underwater around here will allow you to go in them, but this time, it would not. It would not. Oh, I know where to get uh, three rats. The arena can't. Whenever we go down to talk to Eno, 
there's always them three rats that attack us. So we only need to get two out of here and we can get the other three there. Perfect. There's the two we need and now we can go. Ah, oh, this is working splendidly. I love it. I love it when stuff goes our way. You know, usually we have the worst luck of the worst luck. If it wasn't for bad luck, we wouldn't have any luck. So when stuff actually goes our way, it's just so refreshing. I love it. I really enjoy it. Alright. So, the Oblivion writing was... I'm gonna try this. Come on. Telvany, maybe? No, it's the arena. Okay. Yeah, that's right. The Oblivion writing was the uh, arena, and like the scales was the Lalu. And then I remember the other St. Dylan and St. Holmes only because they have statues above them, and they're looking at each other. That's the only reason I remember them. Oh, come on. I want you to move. Rats. Give me that meat. Give me that meat. All right, so we have the five pieces of rat meat. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just eat one of these. That will give us five, and that will free up a little bit of space for us. Now, there's no reason for me to go talk to Eno because we haven't killed those two dudes yet. So, all we have left to do is to basically go and wait a couple days, and then go back and harass that guy for money. Which, if he doesn't pay, we can always pay, you know, and just tell him that dude's a jerk or whatever but depending on how you look at it I'm gonna give him benefit of the doubt because some people are busy oh come on there we go all right so I how that thunder I think this is going to be our stopping point for today and we will pick this up in our Monday episode we just got to cash in, and I don't really know what we're going to do yet for our Monday's episode, but we'll figure it out when we get there. But, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay awesome.